Today's video is going to test how well you understand or can comprehend inequalities. This is standard mastery assessment number four. So let's go ahead and get into the actual question. For the inequalities below, let D be less than, remember the sign for inequalities always opens up or eats the bigger value. So D is less than zero and let F be greater than E. Identify the three inequalities below that will always be true. So here we have a list of six and we have to identify which ones will always be true. And what this is referring to is no matter what numbers are used for D, F, and E, as long as they satisfy the inequality, they will always be true down here. So very similar to the way we solved or figured out um, equivalent equations and equivalent expressions with area, <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to give values to D, F, and E. And it does not, I've yet to use values that have not worked. As long as the values that we give to D, F, and E satisfy the inequality that they're a part of. So D is less than zero, so we need some number that is less than zero. That's pretty much any negative number. I'm going to use negative one. You can use any negative number that you choose. F, F is greater than E. So the number that we use for F has to be number uh, has to be greater than the number that we use for E. So I'm going to go ahead and use three for F and two for E. Now I'm just going to go ahead and go through one through six, and I'm going to plug in the numbers for the variables, and I'm going to see if they make the inequality or satisfy the inequality. So um, E minus F, so two minus three, and the sign here is greater than zero. 2 minus 3, you already know, not, not taking any chances. 2 minus 3, negative 1, boom. Negative 1 is greater than 0. Is this true? Is negative 1 greater than 0? If you're saying yes, you're wrong. It is not true. Negative 1 is not bigger than 0. Having Owing somebody a dollar is not a greater amount than having no money. So this is false. Number two, E minus F again, so two minus three again, and this time the sign says less than zero, so really important that you're paying attention to the signs. So two minus three, we already simplified it in the calculator, we know it's number negative one. Is negative one less than zero? Is having no money a greater amount than owing a dollar? Well, owing a dollar is definitely less than having no money. This is true. So we can put a number three, E, D, E, which is the desert edge. D is negative one times E, which is two. Is that greater than negative one times three? Negative one times two. Boom shakalaka. Negative one's already in there. Count that. That's negative two. Probably didn't need to use a calculator for that. Negative 1 times 3, I take no chances. Negative 1 times 3, boom, negative 3. Read it again. Negative 2 greater than negative 3 is owing somebody $2 a greater amount than owing somebody $3. Yes, the person that only owes $2 is richer than the person that owes 3. So that is actually true. Number 4. I'm going to roll through these, same exact stuff, negative 1 times 2, but this time the sign is flipped the other way, and negative 1 times 3, we already did the math, the calculations, now we just got to read to make sure, is negative 2 less than negative 3? Well, if the reverse sign was true, then this sign has to be false, negative 2 is not a lesser amount than negative 3. So we can say that this is false. See the parallels here. One of them was true. One of them was false. One of them was true. One of them was false. Five. Here we have negative one. Parentheses. E is two minus 
f is 3, is that greater than 0? Pop that in the calculator, make sure you're getting these ones right. Very easy, as long as you know what you're doing. So, 2 minus 3, boom, parentheses, bow, that's 1. Is 1 greater than 0? Having $1 is definitely more than having no dollars. So we can say that this is true. Last one, same exact one, except guess what? Signs flipped. So, just go through the motions. Make sure the sign's good. Bang, negative one times two minus three. We already know, we put that in the calculator. We got one, so is one less than zero? Yes, that is false. One is not less than zero. So you see the parallels here. One was true, one was false. One was true, one was false. One was false, had to think about that one. One was true, okay? This is a very, very easy skill. As long as you make sure that you assign values in the beginning that satisfy the two inequalities that it gives you. Good luck.